Hobbs. Thomas Hobbs, sometimes known as Thomas Hobbs of Malmesbury, 1588-1679, to was an English philosopher considered to be one of the founders of modern political philosophy. Hobbes is best known for his 1651 book, Leviathan, in which he expands on influential formulation of social contract theory in addition to political philosophy, Hobbes contributed to a diverse array of other fields, including history, jurisprudence, geometry, the physics of gases, theology, and ethics, as well as philosophy in general. Hobbes influenced by contemporary scientific ideas, had intended for his political theory to be a quasi-geometrical system in which the conclusions followed inevitably from the premises. The main practical conclusion of Hobbes' political theory is that state or society cannot be secure unless at the disposal of an absolute sovereign. From this follows the view that no individual can hold rights of property against the sovereign, and that the sovereign may therefore take the goods of its subjects without their consent. This particular view owes its significance to its being, first developed in the 1630s when Charles I had sought to raise revenues without the consent of Parliament. In such condition, there is no place for industry because the fruit thereof is uncertain, and consequently no culture of the earth, no navigation, nor use of the commodities that may be imported by sea, no commodious building, no instruments of moving and removing, such things as require much force, no knowledge of the face of the earth, no account of time, no arts, no letters, no society, and which is worst of all, continual fear and danger of violent death, and the life of man, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. Hobbes' views about religion have been disputed at great length, and a wide range of positions have been attributed to him from atheism to orthodox Christianity. This section focuses on two central questions whether Hobbes believes in the existence of God and whether he thinks there can be knowledge from revelation. Some important aspects of Hobbes' approach to religion are left aside. These include religion's role in politics and the question of whether God plays some fundamental role in Hobbes' ethical system. Hobbes, at one point, rules a good deal of religious discussion out of philosophy, because its topics are not susceptible to the full, detailed, casual explanation that is required from scientia. The best sort of knowledge, thus philosophy, excludes from itself theology, as I call the doctrine about the nature and attributes of the eternal, ungenerable, and incomprehensible God, and in whom no composition and no division can be established, and no generation can be understood. Also excluded are discussion of angels, 
of revelation and of the proper worship of God. But despite these not being, strictly speaking, philosophy, Hobbes does in fact have a good deal to say about them, most notably in Leviathan, things outside philosophy in its strict sense may not be amenable to thorough casual explanation in terms of the motions of bodies, but they may well still be within the limits of rational discussion.